Canadians said their final farewell today to former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney. Mourners packed into Montreal's huge Notre Dame Basilica for a state funeral honoring Mulroney. Al Sweeney was following the story today and joins us live with the details. Al. Adam, there were plenty of tears in the Basilica where the funeral service was held with his family members there along with current and former government leaders and Mulroney's friends from other walks of life. RCMP officers conducted Mulroney's casket into the Notre Dame Basilica. Among his family members at the funeral, his wife Mila, his daughter Caroline, who's a cabinet minister in the Ontario government, and his three sons, along with grandchildren, former and current prime ministers, hockey great Wayne Gretzky, and many of Mulroney's friends from his long career. They praised Mulroney for his role as prime minister from 1984 to 1993. My dad saw the world in a bigger way than most. His humanity defined him, which is why he transcended politics and connected with people in a way that left an indelible mark on their hearts and souls. First and foremost, Brian was motivated by service. He was motivated by leadership, by getting the big things right. Big things like free trade, fighting to raise the standard of living for Canadians and for millions of people. We've had so many wonderful speakers, you're going to figure out who's in politics and which guy is the hockey player real quick. <laughs> you know, we're such a proud country and I relate everything to hockey. And politics and hockey, you fight, you battle. You drive. I'm so proud to be a Canadian today to see past prime ministers here, the current prime minister. That's what our country is all about, coming together, being friendly, helping other people and paying respects. And Mr. Mulroney was one of the greatest prime ministers we've ever had. Mulroney passed away in February at the age of 84.